Hello everyone, in this video I will present our paper unveiling challenging cases in text-based recommender systems. In recommendation domain, the real application data is usually only available to big companies, whereas lab studies use heavily pre-processed benchmark data which prohibits from tapping into really challenging cases. Our study stands in between these two extremes driven by controlled stress test experiments where we show, that, we show that the reported high performance on benchmarks is often unrealistic. Our experiments are focused on the text-based recommender system, which use as input text user-generated reviews and item textual metadata. All results are obtained using an end-to-end -end trained two-tower BERT model, which predicts the recommendation score as a dot product between user and item contextualized representations. We report results on two book review datasets, Goodreads and Amazon. Many related studies perform various steps to pre-process the datasets, for instance, removing long-tailed users and items or ensuring that the resulting interaction graph is dense. We conduct experiments on different density slices, keeping all long-tail long user and items, regardless of their number of interactions. The results show that the model's performance drop with the increased sparsity of interactions. Very often, the studies don't explore the full spectrum of available user text, focusing only on the titles of the user's previous items or the user's favorite categories. We run our model on different selection of the input user text and show that the text abundant user reviews provide the best recommendation signal. In lab settings, it is often unfeasible to conduct evaluation on the full collection of items. Instead, the studies evaluate the ranking of a known positive item against a pool of randomly sampled negatives which can frequently be trivially distinguished from the positive item. We propose a contextualized evaluation mode where the negative items are sampled to be textually similar to the positive item. This makes the recommendation more challenging, which we observe through the dramatic decrease in the model's performance. Finally, we break down the overall performance of the model into six user item groups based on the amount of interaction they have in the training set. The performance varies significantly across different groups with bibliophilic users and seen items being the, being the easiest to make inference for. Such analysis is important to help identify the groups for instances where the model's performance stagnates. For more experiments on other evaluation dim dimensions, please check our paper. Thank you for your attention. We are looking forward to the discussions at the workshop.